Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is gonna be a super simple unboxing and setup, and then I'll show you some of the features that made me get the uh, printer. So yeah, enjoy the ASMR. All right, so this is what you're gonna need to do immediately after you take the printer out the box. There's like tape, this little helpful um, sticky that shows you to basically take the um, protection off of the cartridges so that um, they'll connect and work. So you have to lift them up one by one like you see me doing here. Take that orange thing off and then put it aside and then take the paper out but you got to take all of them out before you lift up that paper And I like how everything's color coded and um, easy to match up because I would definitely be the type of person to mix match all the toner cartridges and screw up everything. But um, yeah, it's labeled. So that's nice. So here's the paper. Um, and now you can close it. And there's also like a paper that you have to remove in the bottom tray. Take that off. And then you also have to slide that paper size thing. And I was just taking this, like extending it just to make sure there wasn't anything stuck, but um, it's fine. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to basically um, set it up. This is the first time me turning it on. Um, it shows you um, the logo, which is nice. And now you just follow through. This is just asking if it wants you to show you um, when there's the update available, I do. So you could just press yes. And then it says to turn off the power and back on again. So press down the button. And then it'll shut down. And here I was just making sure that um, all the cartridges were pressed in all the way. So I don't get like an error. Okay, then it turns back on and then it says, please wait. And this is like real time. So this is how long it takes. I didn't want to speed it up just to like give you an idea. But I really like the screen on this. It's um very bright and you can see everything clearly. So 
So I'm just putting paper in the bottom. Um, by default, each time you take the paper out, it shows you this tray removed um, message and then it asks you if you want to change the size of the paper. Um, I don't have it on now, but for now you could just press yes or no, it really doesn't matter. So this is where you actually set up the wireless connection, uh, which I definitely recommend. Um, you just press the um, setup wizard and then click your SSID. And then it'll say connected and um, automatically it found the new update for the firmware. So I'm updating it now. Then I'll receive the data and wait like two to five minutes. Then I'll restart and then show you the logo again. And then um, you should have everything basically set up. Um, it will connect to the Wi-Fi. And then you're all set to go. Um, here are some of the features. You can set it up, print via USB, fax, scan. You can send it to um, the cl some cloud applications. You can also send it to email, your computer. You can see your toner um, levels. You could test, print, calibrate, and register. Um, yeah, and here are some of the screen settings. You could change some of those um, shortcuts. So there's um, two trays and I'll show you like the capacity and everything later. All right, so these are some of the main reasons why I got this printer. First of all, I wanted a color laser printer. Um, I wanted something that could basically um, print fast and um, efficiently. So here, um, this particular printer from Brother is a 50 sheet automatic document feeder which is pretty nice if you want to make like multiple copies um through the top you see like where that lid is um it definitely copies on uh, and scans on both sides the top and bottom so you don't have to like flip it over you just feed it in through the top and then it just spits it out and gives you a copy um it prints speeds up to 25 pages per minute which is not really Important, but it's definitely appreciated. Um, some older printers um, still print like 11 or 10 pages a minute, which could take a long time, especially if you're in an office. Um, so it has two trays. If you look in this picture, you'll see like the handle on the bottom, which is the regular one. And then there's like a manual, like multi purpose tray, like right above it, where you see the brother. That is super helpful if you do have like labels or envelopes or like cards or anything um, other than like regular printer paper where you need um, color and copies. You just flip that open and feed the paper in there and you can do 30 at a time, which is why it says a 30 sheet capacity multi-purpose tray. Um, and then the regular paper tray is like 250 sheets, which is around average. I mean one stack of paper is like 500 so you just have to like basically grab a handful make it about half and it'll all fit basically um and then what i needed personally was something that can print wirelessly i'm tired of wires i want something that i can put on the other side of the room or office um i wanted something that can also print with a smartphone or a computer you know, anything that I could just go on the Wi-Fi and just put in um, the network name and just print. Um, you will have to sometimes like if it doesn't rec like if your computer doesn't recognize it, you can just go on the printer settings 
and just um, find the IP address and just put it in manually. If you want me to make a video doing that, um, just leave a comment. But other than that, yeah, it takes the TN223 turn or, uh, cartridges. So um, that's basically, you know, the unboxing and quick setup, super easy. Um, and yeah, these are the main features. So I hope this was helpful um, to one person out there in the universe and um, subscribe <laughs> and um, hit me up on my socials.